Hello out there, Common Sense Nation. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. So glad you joined us today. Uh, we got a great show for you today. And uh, we're going to be covering a host of things. We're going to be covering why the economy is so bad. Joe Biden and the media is lying about the economy. We're going to be talking about crime. And we're going to be talking about why are the left's representatives more loyal to the left than our representatives are to us? You got to almost be envious of some of these um, uh, Democratic representatives who will do anything for their constituents while the Republicans are making excuses why they can't uphold the Constitution or our rights. And today we're going to have a special guest. He's going to check in with us about 8.35. Brother uh, Hamp Redmond, he's in District 2 down in uh, South Carolina. He's going to be coming on. He's running for office down there. So we're going to be getting Brother uh, Hemp Redman to check in with us. Uh, you can support him now. Vote red, Republican for House District 2. He's, he's fighting for the working man. So we're going to bring, at about 8.35, we're going to bring uh, Hemp Redman in and let him talk to the people. Especially in South Carolina now, you're going to have to, because uh, we, we, we got to get some of these uh, rhinos out of office because all they do is pretend like they're going to do something, but they're not going to do anything. I think Joe Wilson has been in office long enough, and so we're going to bring Hank in, I mean, <laughs> Hemp in, at about 8.35. Uh, we'll bring him in. Matter of fact, you know what? I don't think I gave you that link, did I, uh, Brother Hemp? I'll send it over to you here shortly. Uh, but we got a lot to discuss today. And we also going to we going we going to um discuss cuz President Trump went by Chick-fil-A and you should sort of respond by him as opposed to when Joe Biden goes and visit anything. Does anybody want to see Joe Biden? Is there anybody excited to see Joe Biden? You never see Joe Biden show up anywhere and people are excited. You know why? Because there's no reason to be excited about Joe Biden because Joe Biden's whole administration, and you remember my favorite word is, is trash. The whole administration is trash. Nothing. He's done nothing good. I don't know any liar who's trying to pretend as if Joe Biden has made things better. Joe Biden actually was asked this question today, and he says that you're better off now under the Joe Biden administration than you were in the Trump administration. No self-respecting person with any any ounce of credibility would not say something so phallus and false. It is obvious that he's lying. All you got to do is look at the grocery store. Matter of fact, his chief of staff said the same thing. He's no longer with him. He's admitting, going over here trying to talk about bridges and stuff, nobody thinks Joe Biden is doing a good job. He may think he's doing a good job because he's so damn out of it. You don't know if he's going or coming. So I wouldn't be surprised um, if he actually thinks he's doing a good job. Why is my screen doing that? Um, we gotta give we're gonna give some shout outs here before we get started because I want to share a couple of uh clips with you. And we and and, and I want to just discuss the loyalty that the 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 Democratic representatives have towards their constituents as opposed to the loyalty that uh, we, our so-called representatives have with us. You will notice that the our constituents don't seem to give a damn about us. They just don't. And they make it pretty obvious that they almost are hostile towards us. Now, you got to ask yourself, why is that? Why are they so damn hostile towards the people who are supposed to be they're supposed to be representing, I thought. I mean, I thought they was representing us, but it's so obvious when you look at it that they're not representing us. You know, I was looking for something here before I give a couple of shout outs. Why is I why is I find that? Okay, here it is. Hold on a minute. I wanted to do something right quick before we get started here. I had to send off something right quick. Um uh, let me see here. The link. 
Okay, I want to. I, I have to do this. I'm sorry. I got to do this right quick before we get started. Because uh, I forgot to do it before I came on. <laughs> All right. Um, now, I want to give a couple of shout outs before we get started. Um, let me see here. Who do we have? Who do we have in the. Of course, we got the old bag is in the house. The Silver Fox has checked in. Uh, hemp, do not encourage the Silver Fox. Making her think, old bag making her think it's her birthday. Good to see that brother, uh, Hemp Redmond. Steak 59, my brother, is in the house. He's put all our links down there. Uh, and, 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 and the old bag got enough. The galler said, thank you, Hemp, as if it's her birthday. Uh, <laughs> what else we got in here? <clears throat> Rick Birdwell is in the, in the house. Good to see that, Rick. Uh, God bless you, uh, Rick Birdwell. Also, we have uh, <clears throat> John Edwards checked in. Good to see that, John Edwards. God bless you. Good to see you. Um, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> Amy Kennedy just checked in. Good to see that, Amy Kennedy. And Amy Kennedy just hit us up with a donation on our cash app. Gave us $5 on our cash app. I appreciate you, uh, Amy Kennedy. Bobby Henderson, the Henderson uh, group is, is checked in. <laughs> Bobby Henderson and uh, uh, her, her her strong husband, the Hendersons are in the house. Good to see you. Sexy Brown Sugar just checked in. Good to see you. Um, did I miss somebody? <laughs> Gladys Kravis um, Jr. is in the house. Good to see you. DS111 is uh is in the house. <laughs> Let me see what uh, did I miss someone? Da, 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 da. Uh Aline is it Aline Daughtery is in the house. The Supreme Court will hear the immunity case against Trump for January the 6th. I'm praying. I don't think they're gonna throw it out. They're gonna because they're not big, they're not they're too big of a cowards to throw it out. So I don't think they're gonna throw it out, but he's gonna defeat the case. They're just trying to wear Donald Trump down, but it's not working because God is still in charge. And of course, my lovely clever, the doctor's nurse, has checked in. Good to see you, my dear. Kisses all over to you, by the way. Uh, did we did we miss anybody before we get started here? Diane, I'm sorry, Dinah. Is it Diana? Diana Anderson is in the house out of Washington. Good to see you. Uh, you're going to get a thrill. I, I was laughing when I saw the, uh, President Trump over in the Chick-fil-A. And, uh, and the people, see, this is how the people respond. You can understand the difference between when President Donald Trump goes somewhere and any other politician. I'm not saying that's the only thing, but just look at the response, the interactions. It's genuine, too. And this is what makes him mad. Joe Biden goes somewhere. Joe Biden was in a restaurant and nobody was paying attention to him. But he got 81 million votes, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> uh, Sandra is in the house. Good to see that, Sandra. Sandy M has checked in. Also, Liz Davis. Good to see you. Clever, do not be wishing the old bag. <laughs> Said birthday twin. Clever. Stop it. Uh, Gemini Life is in the house. Good to see you. Bobcat Klein is in the house. Good to see you. <laughs> um, what else we got in here? Oh, uh, uh, Clever just told me today is Catherine Barker's 31st birthday anniversary. Oh, isn't that a blessing? Catherine Barker has been married to her husband for 31 years. You don't see that much in this day and time. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, we happy anniversary to um, Catherine Barker and her husband. Uh, did we get his name? Uh, he may not want his name said. <laughs> Catherine Barker. Well, well God bless uh, the Barkers. Uh, <laughs> not the Bob Barkers. Catherine Barker and her husband. 31 years of being married. And still going strong. That's a blessing. That is an absolute blessing. 
Is that Zuma Gonzalez has checked in too? Good to see you. Uh, Kim Carroll has checked in out of Georgia. Good to see you there, Kim Carroll. The TJ, the conservative hustler, has checked in. Matt has checked in. Let me see if I can pronounce your last name because I will butcher your last name now, Matt. Matt Hicksonbog. Because clever, but she. She be laughing at me when I be mispronouncing stuff. Cause she can pronounce stuff. She got to tell me how to pronounce it. Cause I don't know. How to, <laughs> I'll butcher that name in a minute. So, <laughs> well, good, good, to, good to see you there, Matt. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, pronunciation ain't my strong suit. <laughs> uh, Gracie Tracy just checked in too. Good to see you, um, Capit. Cappuccino Monkey Tails just checked in. <laughs> uh, James out of Tampa just checked in. Good to see you. Bats, you late, Bats. Where you been? Bats just checked in. Fallout Welder, 1776. My man Eric just checked in. Jay Talley in the house. Happy 30, happy anniversary 37 for, for us looking to the Ruby. 37, Jay. I thought it was 31. Is it 31 or 37? Did I misread that? Uh, Clever told me 31. Am I missing something here? <laughs> um, <laughs> that old bag is something else. <laughs> Captain Barker said, thank you, Frankenstein. <laughs> um, T. Lawton is in the house, too. Hollis C. Coon has checked in. Uh, <laughs> I think that I'm I'm sorry for the but now D A H N A da Danu Jawinski. I know <laughs> from North Carolina. Hi, Kathy Marcellus is in the house. I think that's uh Newark, Newark. Uh, good to see everybody. Now, I want to get started with something because we're gonna we're gonna bring um. Represent uh, 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 my, my boy, um, uh, Hemp Redman in over there, House District 2. We're gonna bring him in at about 8 35. I sent you that link to uh, brother, brother Hemp. I emailed it to you. Sonia Owens out of Florida just checked in. Good to see you. Card Oliver checked in. Um, good to see everybody. Now, I want to get started with something. Irene just checked in in central Missouri. Show me state. Uh, North Bats is out of North Carolina. Good to see everybody. Now I wanted to do some because we got a, quite a bit to uh, cover here, and I wanted to um, I wanted to discuss. I want to just before I, I'm gonna I'm show you the, the President Trump's clip and Joe Biden's clip after we talked uh, to um, Brother uh, Hamp Redmond. We're we're gonna do that after that. Because I want to discuss and I want you to think about this. We may pick back up on it at about 8:35. Um, we may pick pick back up on that right there. But this is what I want to discuss. Because I've been noticing something, the different ways parties react. And like if if the if the Republicans, the people they're supposed to be representing, tell them that they're against something, that they don't want something, they don't listen to us. Most of the Republicans have been saying, don't send no more money to Ukraine. Most Republicans or conservatives have been saying, we don't want open borders. We're going in debt too far. Lock criminals up. Now, you ask yourself this question. They just said they was going to impeach Margus. I don't think they're going to do anything because Chuck Schumer may not even put it to vote or anything else. Because one thing I can tell you about these devilish uh, Democrats is that they stick together. And even when they're lying, they'll come on TV and defend the, the their constituents, which is mostly criminals. Their constituents are criminals. Because I saw in New York, I, I maybe some other places, but in New York, they're randomly walking up to females, mostly white females, but some, I, I did see one of an Asian female, and they're punching them in the face. And nobody's outraged about this. Just punching them in the face for no damn reason. 
Because when you allow criminals to come out of jail, this is what they do and you don't lock them up. I'm going to play that video after that too because I got a clip of these women getting punched in the face. But this is, this is the point I want to make. When do the Republicans ever do any damn thing we tell them to do? This is one of the reasons we like President Trump because he, did, he didn't do all the things, but he did a lot of the things he promised he was going to do for us. The wall would have been built if the Republicans and the Democrats weren't working against him in that particular aspect. But but China was paying, he was killing terrorists, and there was no wars going on. But they didn't like that. One thing they don't like is when people do what they said they're going to do for the for the, the their own constituents. Now, the Democrats do it for their constituents all the time. Like when you saw that rally was down in Dearborn, the, the, the governor down there, uh, uh, what's the name? Um, Gretchen. She won't even condemn people chanting death to America. She won't even condemn them. Now, you would think that at this particular point, at least we can agree that they shouldn't be saying death to America. They're literally saying that we should not have a right to have a constitution because they said we supported Israel. Now, I don't care how what you think about Israel. This is the point I always make. Because I'm more concerned about America than I am about Israel or any other country. But having said that, why is it that people are more upset with Israel than they are upset with the folks who went in there and slaughtered, raped, and set people on fire? But you notice when Joe Biden and the Democrats start losing support, like in Michigan, when they start losing support, even though we can prove it, that the terrorists of Hamas who most of the Palestinians were celebrating too. Most of those people were celebrating in the street and Joe Biden was pretending like he was going to say, let Israel do that thing and kill the terrorists. Now he's trying to punish, talking about a ceasefire. Why don't, why don't we do a ceasefire in Ukraine? Notice that they never call for a ceasefire in Ukraine. This tells me all of where their priorities lie right there. Vladimir Putin has been trying to get a ceasefire for the longest, but they don't even talk about a ceasefire in uh, while they're in uh, Ukraine. Nobody's ever mentioned it. Matter of fact, what they have said is that we will not negotiate ever. Did, did Vladimir Putin invade and start killing a bunch of people, having his men rape women and burn children alive like the Hamas did over in uh, Gaza? No, he didn't do that. But here we have Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer now threatening Israel, telling them not to defend themselves if they want a ceasefire. Excuse me, but we didn't we just go to war? You just slaughtered 1,300 of my people. Now you want a ceasefire? How would that have worked in World War II? How would that have worked in any other thing? We're going to have a ceasefire after you slaughter a bunch of my, 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 my citizens. That It doesn't work like that. But the Democrats... When they see that their constituents are upset, they go with what their constituents say. On the other hand, the Republicans can have the law, the Constitution, everything on their side, and they will ignore it. And they'll get mad at you. They'll start saying, these MAGA people are extremists. Remember uh, Kevin McCarthy? Kevin McCarthy was in the office as speaker. He was sworn in. He said he was going to do certain things. He did the complete opposite. The same thing that Johnson is doing right now, the complete, no real conservative want any more damn money sent over to Ukraine. We're suffering over here. Inflation, gas is rising back up now. Inflation galore. And even when they try to lie about it, it's so obvious that they're lying. They have a Karen Jean Pierre. She comes on the air and she will pretend like the last administration was doing all this and we're fixing this and what, why, do, why is it everybody saying that they're suffering more than Joe Biden? Why is it that everybody is saying that everything is higher, crime and everything, the border is open? Why are they just saying that? What Joe Biden's administration and what all of those people who support the Democrats are saying, what the news media is saying, what the intel community is saying, is that you're doing good, but you're too stupid to know you're doing good. Because we'll tell you when you're doing good. We'll tell you when you're in pain. You don't have a right to say you're in pain unless we tell you. And see, that's why, that's the thing that I'm really sick of. I'm sick of these filthy politicians telling us 
what we want. We told you what we want. We want closed border. I don't care if no damn illegals come across the border right now because as last time I checked, we're in debt by $35 trillion. Why are we importing people over? Because it's done on purpose. And back to the whole Margus impeachment. Ask yourself this question. Why did the Republicans wait to it's almost the election to start trying to really impeach Margus and Joe Biden? I don't even want them to impeach him at this particular point because I want Joe Biden to be the candidate. At this particular point, you might as well leave him in there. You left him in there for three and a half years. You didn't do a damn thing to him then. So now you want to act like you're doing something to Margus? Margus should have been court-martialed a long time ago. What took y'all so long? Now you want to wait till the elections come around? This is a smokescreen. Democrats got all kinds of other stuff working, working out right now. Won't y'all do something to stop all these bogus charges for Donald Trump? Won't y'all do something to make sure these criminals start getting locked up? And when these people like Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade, go, something going to happen to them for purging their stuff under oath. And the, the, the judge said he won't leave on the case. Now, uh, Nathan Wade is saying that he's broke now. He can't pay his wife. Should have thought about that after you got that $700,000 and you was taking trips with uh, dropping like his hot funny Willis. Should have thought about all that then. Now he's trying to act like he's broke. <clears throat> he's cut off paying for his kids too because the wife says that one of his kids was in college. He's cut off for his daughter's fund. And another one of his sons, I think, was over in Europe somewhere doing something and he cut off payment <clears throat> because he said he can't afford it because he got fired off the case. Wait a minute. How much money did you actually get? Because all these damn trips you and funny was taken, you should have been thinking about that then. His wife has some kind of medical illness too. <clears throat> and this scumbag, Nathan Wade, is trying to cut off after he cheated with dropping like his hot funny Willis. <clears throat> now you got to ask yourself this. We can prove Nathan Wade lied on the oath. We can prove funny Willis lied on the oath. Why don't Republicans charge them with lying on the oath? Well, the reason they're not going to do that is because they haven't charged anybody else with purging themselves. Hell, technically speaking, when uh, Andrew McKay was uh, second in command of the FBI, he lied to the FBI at least three or four times and nothing happened to him. See, one thing I can tell you about the Republicans that they're technically a Republicans in name only. They're technically on the side of the Democrats. They like to pretend they have these meetings and they pretend like we're fighting for you. We're out there fighting for the Constitution. It's smoke and mirrors. They don't mean a damn thing they're saying. It's all lies. And, and they get upset when you expose that they lied to you. They don't want you telling them that you did. If you say you lied to me about such and such, just say, wait a minute, why are you bringing it up? Don't bring it up that we lied to you. Just suck it up and take it. That's technically what they're saying. Suck it up and take it. Uh, YRMA Irma gave us $10 on our cash app. God bless you, that Irma. But think about this. When the Democrats, when their constituents gets upset, the Democrats give them what they want. If it's abortion at nine months, they'll give it to them. That's what they're technically saying, abortion at nine months. Now, I did hear the, 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 the President Trump's statement. He says it's a state issue. Well, it's been a state. It should have been a state's issue. If you want to be a liberal state, go to a liberal state. You want a conservative uh, state, we got different ways. Do, to do things in conservative states as it is liberal states. And the problem is, is that the Republicans don't pay attention when we tell them we don't want something. They, they think it's a, a su suggestion. Like most Democrats think that the First Amendment and the Second Amendment is a suggestion. They don't believe you're supposed to enforce that. They don't. And the sad part about it is that we're, we're, we're completely under attack and we're going in debt and I don't know if we're going to be able to survive this type of debt. How much more longer we're going to be able to survive this? I really don't know. But I can tell you this. They're purposely trying to destroy this country. Purposely trying to destroy the country. Now, uh, I'm a, I, want you to, I want you just to see this. This is just randomly. They're punching women in the face. And, and, and Alvin Braggs and the rest of these people are not even doing anything about it. As a matter of fact. Uh, they're trying to lock Donald Trump up for overvaluing his property. Now, there's a rumor, alleged rumor, that 
when they tried to lie about the, the whole Stormy Daniels thing, there's so much information to prove this woman has changed her story at least three times. Now, I did hear that President Trump has a letter that says that, that Stormy Daniels wrote and says, I'm denying this affair because it never happened. She said it never happened on more than one occasion. The whole thing was a complete lie. So how is it possible that Donald Trump has four different indictments against him and people like Funny Willis and Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, the crackhead, hasn't been charged with one single offense? When you get weak people in office, this is what you get. Now, I want, I want you to see something. These, these women were being randomly punched in the face. Now, it should be alarming, but the reason nothing the media ain't not covering it because it's mostly black men punching either white or Asian women in the face. There's no outrage with that. How would you like for somebody to punch your mother or your wife or your loved one in the face if it was a female? What do you think should happen to them? I think they should be buried. I think the cockroaches should be buried. Because if a bastard was going to say going to punch Clever in the face like that, uh, they can get ready for his funeral arrangement. You can go ahead and chalk that up. You can go ahead for your funeral. I was literally just walking, and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh, my God. It hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground, and now this giant goose egg is forming, and I'm like. And they're walking down the street minding their own business. Now, I don't know who these people voted for, but I damn sure hope that you didn't vote for uh, the Democrats because they don't care about you getting punched in the face. Uh, Daniel just brought up a point. He says, Michael Avenetti is even talking trash about Trump indictments. See, this is everybody knows this is a fraud, but the damn Democrats won't do anything. They won't do anything. Look at it. I mean, this is not the only one. Watch this. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks so crazy. So I just got punched. Look, look at her eye. In the face, walking home. I was literally like leaving class. I turned the corner. And I was looking down and I was looking at my phone and like texting. And then out of nowhere, this man just came up and hit me in the face. I'm like actually in shock right now. I'm just like walking home. They're just randomly punching people in the damn face for no damn reason. And nobody seems to be outraged about this. Now, I don't know. I think she went to. Uh, yeah, listen, yeah. So I, I have fallen victim to uh, the. <laughs> The um, men in New York City are lifting an elbow. Well, well, maybe maybe they're scared to do something because they may get locked up for even defending y'all. That that's the sad part. Uh, I I got I think this I got another one of an Asian woman, and they actually show this one. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it right here. Now it's brutal. This is brutal. Watch this. Everybody, everybody's gonna stand around. The woman in the pink right here, this man is gonna pass by for no reason. Punches this woman in the face. Now, just think about if this was your mother, your daughter, your sister, your wife, your girlfriend. What would you what would you think? Now you see this? Now this is the kind of stuff that happens. Now, just imagine, just imagine if we reverse this around. I mean, somebody brought a uh, Brooklyn Rican soldier brought an interesting point. Where's the, the Me Too movement? Good point. Where's the Me Too movement? See, this, this is the thing. What I don't understand is that I don't know how anybody with any common sense can think this is a good thing. I don't give a damn what your color is. I don't give a damn what your affiliation is. I don't know how anybody would try to justify men punching women in the face for no damn reason. See, y'all better get in New York. You can't even have a gun. Better move to a conservative state because you walk down the street with your pistol, your hand in your purse, and as soon as one walk up on your punch and just go, come on, go ahead and bury him. Then his mama be on TV crying, oh, my God, they didn't have to shoot him. He was on his way to college. He on his way to college now? Punch him. Watch how he going to stop. He don't even run. Watch this. He just stood there. Look at the people in the shop. The woman's still on the ground. Punch this woman in her nose for no reason. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I 
I'm just telling you what you need to do. <laughs> Women, you need to get strapped. And even if you don't have a, a, a now in New York, guess what? They got this gun, this new gun. It's not a, it's not, it, you, it's, you can carry it even in New York. It's called a burner. You knock them on their butt. You, you can hit them with it and it knocks, it, sh- it knocks them out. And they don't even die. You may, if you don't want to have a real gun, you get you one of them. Because the things that they're doing now, punching women in the face, pushing people in front of trains. And these, these dumbasses is worrying about if, if a hooker of, of, a, of a porn uh, woman was paid. These people are worrying about if Donald Trump overpriced the value of his property. That's what Letitia James and Alvin Braggs and and and, and now uh, uh, what's her name? Fun, Funny Willis down in in Georgia. They won't lock up real criminals. They're too busy trying to lock up law-abiding citizens. Now I ask you this question: If 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 um, if it was reversed around and it, it was a bunch of Trump people doing these types of crimes, they'd have got locked up already. Because the Democrats, their representatives don't tolerate certain. Look what they did to the January the six people. Look what they did. And, and, and they don't have any remorse when it comes to uh, locking up innocent people. They're running people's houses. Matter of fact, I don't know if you've seen that one by OMG. Um, what's his name? It used to be with Project Veritas. Uh, James O'Keefe. He has a clip of a CIA person slash FBI person saying that they chopped the legs off uh, Alex Jones, took all his money. This is what they do. See, they try to hurt you financially. And these are the people who go, the government is the most corrupt entity, I'm telling you. The corruption that you see in the intel community, that's the first place that Mr. Trump is going to have to get weird, clean out that crap, that trash. He's going to have to clean out that trash. Uh, Brother Hemp, if you're in there, I sent you the link already. If you can go ahead and queue up, I'm going to bring you in in here. Um, Hemp Redmond, I'm going to bring you running for the district down there. Uh, If you're in there, I sent sent you an email, brother. Um, If you're in there, you can go and uh, hit that uh, that, uh, button so we can bring you in. I'm 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 going to let brother Hemp talk to you guys about um, what he planned on doing. He can speak for himself, talk about what he planned on doing, and, 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 and Joe Wilson, who he's running against. I'll let brother uh, Hemp Redman talk for himself. He wants He's asking for your support down here in District um, uh, 2 down in South Carolina. House District 2, I'm sorry, for House District 2. And uh, he's not a politician. He's running for office, but he's not a politician. So that was made uh, President Trump better because he really wasn't a politician uh he, he wasn't a politician at all he was a uh he was a um he was a businessman who owned businesses and that's what made him do a great job because he knew what it is uh, we need i guess we need more business people and we need more people who are uh, willing to fight for their constituents because most of these people are not fighting for that now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring um, Mr. Hemp Redman in for House District 2. After he gets through, I'm gonna, after we get me and him get through talking, let him introduce himself. You can show your support. He has a, a website now. We gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post that link down there, too, uh, while he's in here. Uh, he's taking, You can donate to help his campaign. Um but what I want to say is that we're going we gonna, to, after, after Brother Hemp Redman gets through, we gonna, I'm going to show you some clips of uh, President Donald Trump at Chick-fil-A, and I'm going to show you some clips of Joe Biden and the difference between their interactions. It's, it's so evident. I'm going to bring uh, Brother Hemp in here. We want to get that. Uh, I'm going to let him talk to the people here. Bring him in. Brother Hemp, how you doing there, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, introduce yourself to the people. Hey, let, introduce them, uh, yourself. Yes, sir. I'm Hampton Redman from South Carolina, District 2. We're going to be running a, we're running a campaign here against, uh, I guess you'd say, the incumbent rhino, Joe Wilson. 
<laughs> who loves to send our money overseas so that Ukraine can be great and China can be great and Venezuela can be great instead of America being great and District 2 being great well, well, for all uh, my constituents. Uh, Go ahead, brother. Uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Mr. Redman, so are you saying that uh, Joe Wilson is still sending money over to Ukraine now? Yes, sir. He just voted on the $1.2 trillion spending bill that they claim was the one to keep the government open. Mm -hmm. And I think the numbers on that was about 86% of that left the country. And wow. he votes yes on every bill that comes across the desk. I, I don't, I don't, I, I can't even find a, a, where he voted no one time. So he's, um, he's, he's, he's one of those Republicans who believe in just spending, spending, spending. But did he, did he, did we do anything to our border yet? Not one thing. Now, he says he's pro-border, but what's he doing about it? Do you see him working? <laughs> well, see, you that's, know, that's, that's, yeah, that's crazy. That's, uh, uh -huh. how, how much money was in that? Uh, you, do you know how much money was in that package they gave the Ukraine this time? I forgot to look that up, how much money they was in. Uh, but they, I, they, they, I, I they did gave not look Ukraine, that up. Yeah, they gave Ukraine a whole lot of money. But, I mean, we've given them over $100 billion already, and we're still losing the damn war. There ain't no war over there. That's just a cesspool for... For spending and, I and think money they're, laundering, they're, yeah. and, I think they're laundering our money over there. That's what I think is going on. Absolutely. Well, and, brother, and before I'll, you, I, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the floor. You say whatever you want to say. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. But before I get off here, I want you to show my constituents that haven't seen the video yet. I want you to show them Zelensky dancing, um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cross Dresser. Yeah, 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 but uh. I, yeah, we 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 played that one quite often too. Uh, <laughs> that that, that mm -hmm. uh, Zelensky. Now think about that. Back in our day when we grew up, there's no way we would be sending money to a man who was a cross dresser. Man, my parents would have fruited out back in the day. <laughs> Just to even talk about something like that—that yeah. that was forbidden, unheard of. You you had to go to San Francisco or New York or somewhere to find somebody like that. Now those clowns are everywhere. Uh, Even in the know, churches, uh, bro, uh, uh, Mr. Redman, uh, they uh, they were saying that Joe Wilson is receiving a lot of money from some of these Muslim brotherhoods. Yes, sir. To be exactly, he's uh, he has there's one particular fella, you know, and this is an article from 2023 of October, mm -hmm. uh -huh. a, a fella named uh, Mohammed Sultan. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, he was a large contributor, and Sultan's father was a senior member of the Muslim Brotherhood, mm -hmm. which has ties to Hamas. Yeah, and and also served as a deputy minister of endowments in the government of of the Egyptian president Mohammed Mors. Okay, Morsel, Morris. Okay. Yeah, also a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, prominent scholar uh -huh. who taught at many Islamic educational institutions and wrote over 60 books this is the people that joe biden uh joe wilson is getting okay. money from who, who is the, who is the guy you just said wrote the 60 books it's the it's uh mohammed sultan who gave oh, um, okay oh, who gave the money it's his father yeah. no it's, oh, it's sultan's his father, father that, that okay. did that yeah that's the okay. lineage he's having something to do with hmm. yeah hmm. and um yeah and and also, one other thing to add to that, and this will hit home with you, uh, uh -huh. A.T. Um, Sultan, he gave uh, he gave five thousand to a left leaning. They called herself One Hundred and Fifty Pacing, uh -huh. and Barbara Lee, uh -huh. which is a Democrat in California, yeah, who yeah. was at the time running f to replace your favorite person, Di Diane Feinstein. Uh, okay, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, th so the I, enemy of my enemy is my friend. Ah, uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So, are you saying that um, Joe Wilson votes with Obama? I mean, uh, with uh, Joe Biden's agendas? Pretty much, most of the time. Um, I could say I can't find a, and I'm gonna research some more because I don't want to report something that's not true. But, but every bill that comes along, I look. The first thing I do is I look and see how Marjorie Taylor Greene voted, and it's always no, and and Joe, go straight to Joe, and it's always yes. It's always yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's he's, he's yes. like, I'm, I'm going to call him a limousine Republican because you got, just like they got, uh, uh, I think uh, Rush Limbaugh used to, used to call him limousine um, liberals. 
uh, I like to refer to some of these Republican rhinos as limousine Republicans. And these are the kind of Republicans who's never seen a war they didn't like. All they do is spend money. They spend just as much as the damn Democrats, if you ask me. And if we're $35 trillion in debt and our borders wide open, why are we sending any money to Ukraine? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And look how our people are struggling around here. Yeah. I, I you know, I'm I've been raised most of my life off and on as a blue collar worker. You know, uh-huh. owning your own business, you you're out there hands on almost every single day. I mean, yeah, I actually poured concrete today. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. part of working there. Yeah. But um Joe you know, if the people that will vote for me, I will not send, I will vote no on these spending bills, yeah. on every one of them, unless it, unless it's coming to our, I mean, really, we don't need to be spending money, period. How in the world are we going to ever pay that, that debt back? They'll never pay it back. They'll have to sell yeah. their soul completely to the devil to pay that debt off. I, 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 don't think, I don't think they're even concerned. They even care anymore if we pay the debt back. I don't think there's their concern anymore. I don't think they have any intentions on ever paying the debt back anyway. I agree with that 100 percent because and just like you said before on here, I want to make it known. Joe Wilson don't do his personal personal uh, finances like he's doing ours. See, that's what that's when you know that what they're doing is not good for the people, because if you go look at their own personal finances, none of these people will constantly spend their money and they go in further and further in debt. Nobody would advise you to go further and further into debt like they're doing. So it's got to be an alternative motive. I like to know what Joe Wilson was worth before he came in office and what he's worth now. Before I come on, I'll have those numbers for you the next time. Yeah, but, um, just see, that's what I would like to know because I bet you any kind of money he's got real rich because he's been in there what, since 2003, something like that. Two, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I bet 22 you. 22 years. Because they said since since uh, Joe Biden and Kamala has took office now this time, Kamala has, I think she, her, rich, uh, her uh, her net worth has gained about $10 million. Now, she don't make that much money. How the hell did her net worth gain that much? And Joe Biden's net worth has gained about $17 million since he took office, too. So, I mean, since, just as he became president, allegedly. Became exactly. President. Pelosi, too. Yeah. And look at Pelosi when she first started. And look at her now. Uh, and Barack Obama, this is what I tell people they, they keep forgetting. Joe Biden is really controlled by Barack Obama. But when Barack Obama first came in office, he and Michelle may have had a net worth at around 1.2 million, if that much. Now their net worth is around 80 million dollars. Now, how can you possibly make that much money in eight years as the president? No, sir. And then wrote those line behind books that he published and they, yeah. they rewarded him for. Yeah, they gave think I know you remember when they when they first him and Michelle left office, they gave them these uh contracts for uh their books, like a 60 million dollar deal. You got to sell a lot of books to make up for that. Absolutely. And check this out. This rascal, I didn't know it today. Some of my constituents let me know. This rascal has a Ukraine flag on his flagpole under the United States flag at his office. His home office right here in West Columbia where I I hang out. You got a what? A Ukraine flag on his flagpole. Joe Wilson. He does. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. I'm going by there tomorrow, and if it's up, I'm going to take my own picture of it. But I That's sent true. you an article, and I think in that article, you can find that picture on there of yeah. that flag. Oh, that's I'm crazy. telling you, boy. Uh, let, me, let me see if I, I think I got, hold on, I think I, can get, I got that article. You're right, it is, it is a, a picture of the Ukraine flag. That's crazy. Exactly. And, and one of the defining, you know, one of the one of my third issue is here. I like to try to keep at least three major things that uh-huh. that I would do to he, do you know for a reason to vote for me and not for him. I got another piece of paper, another article. Um, it's actually just a printed off type paper, uh-huh. but I got it saying where all Joe's money comes from, and he gets more money from the Middle East than I ever seen that I know than than he gets from here. Um, you know, and I won't accept money from foreigners. Yeah, especially yeah. the Muslim and the Islamic Brotherhood. That that's out of that that's a no no. Um, and then and then last and 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 most, Joe is too old to take to take <laughs> the fight to anybody. He's seventy six yeah. years old. He ain't got no fight in him. No, yeah, yeah. He didn't got rich now. He see he's too comfortable. Yeah. Granddad used to say a fat hog ain't good for nothing. You got to starve him down a little bit for that meat to be any good. Yeah. 
they ain't good for barbecuing or butchering. <laughs> uh, that's about where he's at now, you know. You know, it, it's 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 really and truly, it ought to be a crime the way he's voted. He, not just to say the rest of them, yeah. but because he claims to be a Republican, and that's that's what makes me angry because he's a hypocrite. You see, it's it's uh -huh. like the one in the it's like the one in the church just playing playing church and and then you know he's only doing that one hour a week and then he's somebody else the other six days and 23 hours reminds yeah. me of my yeah. own my own some some of my own family actually so so, so joe wilson is 76 right 76 years old yeah and so and he, he, wait a minute he's been in office since he's been in office since 2002 what is that uh 20 let me see what's it about i think it's uh, 24 22 years about 22, 22, 24 years, 23 years, mm -hmm. 22, 23 years. So if, if he hasn't fixed anything yet, so this is always, when you get a person an opportunity, you get somebody 20 years to do something and they don't do their job, it seems to me they're not capable of doing their damn job. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, it, it's sickening. I mean, it ought to be a crime the way he spends our money. That They ought, they ought to be locked up for that. I think it should be a crime if you if you work for a company and, and you spent up the company's money like that they wouldn't tolerate you doing that. No, and I guarantee you he don't spend his own money like that. You know, and Lindsey Graham is another one. He's the same. He's exactly the same. I, I've been trying to tell people about Lindsey Graham for a while, man. I've been trying to tell people about Lindsey Graham. He is a he. Uh, he he he's one of the ones who's talk. He but he's been for Ukraine all this time too. He went over there and visit Ukraine. With a Zelensky, he just loves a Zelensky over there. Absolutely, and Zelensky is sickening to me. Just like that, that that thing they got up there in Canada, they call a prime minister. I guess is his title. Yeah, he's a, he's a, with that same crowd. Yeah, I mean, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, yeah, Justin yeah. Trudeau. Well, well, well bro, bro, brother Hank, I'm gonna post your link, but tell him tell 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 the people why they should vote for you before we let you go here. Yeah. In voting for me, you'll get a, a 51 year old, not a 76 year old, who's got plenty of fight and vigor left in him. I'll go to Washington and fight the radical Democrats and help help President Trump in in the fight to save our freedom because that's what's at stake here. And I won't be voting for any spending bills to make Ukraine great. And also, I won't be flying any Ukraine flags around my establishment <laughs> or office. <laughs> and uh, I won't be accepting foreign money, so I won't be bought out. So I can do what my people want me to do and vote for them, my constituents in my area. And, um, you know, when it comes to time when I can't do my job, uh, you won't have to fire me. I'll resign because I'll yeah. never be like those rhinos. Mike Johnson and Joe Wilson make me sick. Well, well maybe that's what we need. To, I, I wish they could do term limits, but in order to have term limits, We'll actually have to. Uh, they we, we have to get them to vote against their own interests, and none of those politicians is ever going to vote against their own interests. Yeah, this 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 part, these politics has got way more crookedness in it than I ever imagined, boy. Yeah, it's going to get, it's gonna get worse too. It's going it's going it's going to get worse. Even down on the local level, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you guys out there, if you, if you want to support. Uh, Brother Hamp Redmond, uh, Republican for House District Two. If you're down South Carolina, House District Two, I just I put his link up there. Uh, you can make a donation to his campaign um, in in House District Two. Uh, we put that up. Uh, we'll be uh, we. If, if some of you've been watching our videos. We've been running some of his uh, the little video clip right there. So he's got his uh, website set up for donations now, and I just posted that. We'll be posting on some of the videos once we do videos too, that brother. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate you having me on. We we'll, we'll come back on again, you know, as soon as you you want to do it. Um. And, and we'll, All right. When, when, we'll if, you, if, you get, if, if you get any more new information on um on Joe Wilson, let me know. We'll we'll cover some of that too as as we go along with doing videos. We'll make sure we cover some of that. Absolutely. I'll send I'll send it to you. All right. God bless you, there, uh, brother. Thank Hampton. you. God bless, brother. God bless right. everybody. Well, see, we we, we 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 do have to start getting people um, uh, in office who. I mean, it's the only way we're gonna actually be able to st stop some of this is we're gonna have to start getting good people local levels. Uh, we're gonna have to start having people in office who can't be bought off, and this is one of the reasons they hate Mr. Trump is because they can't buy him off. 
it, th th this is what makes him so upset. And then every time they say something about this, uh, President Donald Trump being racist, is that you find out that it's the opposite. They're the ones racist. Now, I bet you uh, with Brother Hemp, they'll be saying Brother Hemp is a racist next. <laughs> because this is how, this is the only thing the left has to do. Because they can't, like Joe Biden cannot run on his record. He can't run on his record. Everybody knows the damn economy stinks. Everybody knows crime is up and we could have stopped the border crisis. There was no crisis. It's a manufactured crisis in the first damn place. Everything they've done is manufactured. But ask yourself this. Why have the Republicans allowed this? Why have the Republicans allowed the Democrats to have our border wide open and flooded? Because people like Lindsey Graham, if truth be told, he's not really against open borders. Notice that Lindsey Graham had been talking that much. And Lindsey Graham will send Zelensky any kind of money he wants. And there's other so-called Republicans like this. We know who the Democrats are. They're, they're from the devil. These are, these are naked communists. But one thing I can tell you about those naked communists called Democrats or progressive or whoever you want, they're loyal to each other. Repu Look at how many Republicans have stabbed Donald Trump in the back. None of these Republicans, none of these Democrats have ever stabbed Joe Biden in the back. He can't even speak. His mind is completely gone. Matter of fact, I'm going to play some clips of him talking and him trying to say whatever. I mean, some of the things he says, is just it's just pathetic that anybody's pretending like he's president, but I'm going to let him talk. And then I'm going to show you President Donald Trump's interaction at Chick-fil-A. You got, you, it, it's unbelievable that these people keep trying to paint a narrative. And whenever I hear somebody saying, nobody really wants Donald Trump and Joe Biden running again, what they're saying is they don't want Joe Biden to run. Because this is a smokescreen by the rhinos, uh, Republicans, and the, and the, all the Democrats. Of course they don't want him to run. Because he he was cutting off their meal ticket, their gravy train ticket. But I want to show you some clips of Joe Biden. Then I'm going to show you some of President Trump at the Chick Fil A. He ordered food for everybody. Notice Joe Biden don't never Joe Biden never tries to, even though it's our money. He don't ever try to give anybody anything, pay for anybody's food or anything. He's a, everything about him is a damn joke. Oh, this this is them talking about their country. Um, Janet Yellen. And Joe Biden and a couple more people telling how great the economy is, but you're too stupid to know it. Doubt that we're going to see an inflationary cycle. Now, remember, this is May 2021. I think it will have a temporary or transitory impact. This, this is the circle back girl. Joe Biden was such a, cr a crummy uh, president that that's why she quit and went and tried to start, quote, is it Miss NBC or CNN? One of them she works for. They went and got this, this idiot by the name of Karen Jean Pierre, who couldn't find her butt on a road map uh, and, and, and with the GPS. She don't know where she's going to go. She just gets up there and just lies. But the circle back girl, she got so embarrassed that she just stopped. She just said, I'm leaving, I'm retiring. A faster than expected increase in some of those prices is actually a good sign. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. No one's talking about it. This great, great deal. This is so Do these people really believe that we believe them? Now, I know that some of their constituents believe them. But how is it possible that any American who goes into the grocery store, remember the clip I played you last week, that crazy woman blamed this inflation on Donald Trump? Something that will uh, settle down. Transitory. <laughs> Transitory. <laughs> Most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and expected to be temporary. It's un highly unlikely that it's going to be long-term inflation that's going to get out of hand. I don't know anybody who's worried about inflation. He said he don't know anybody who's worried about inflation. Really? He doesn't know anybody who's worried about inflation. No, you don't know any of these elite. Jeff Bezos ain't worried about it. Elon Musk ain't worried about it. People who own Walmart ain't worried about it. But the rest of working people are worried about it. Over the last couple of months, uh, we actually saw it trended downward. President Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain, enthusiastically retweeted an economist who had said in part, most of the economic problems we're facing, inflation, supply chains, et cetera, are high class problems. Well, see, this is a, now when, when Ron Klain, uh, Klain, Klain, is it Klain, Klain, whatever his name is, he says he, just today he released another statement saying that the economy ain't good. 
Because when people go into the store, they look at their damn funds and they see by looking at their funds and looking at the prices. And by the way, everything is up. Not only is prices up, not only is inflation up, not only is crime up, everything is up. They can't even hide the lies of Joe Biden at this particular point. Can't even hide it no more. Let me see here. Number one thing that the president can do is help get COVID under control. Uh, that <laughs> Gene Nizzle, I saw what you said, brother. <laughs> I, I, I actually think the carpet does match the, the drapes on this one. I think she's a natural redhead. We know is the root cause of inflation. President Biden this afternoon saying he thinks we're at the peak of the crisis right now and that lower prices are on the way. The inflation has everything to do with the supply chain. Make no This dude ain't, think about this. Joe Biden has never even had a real job. He's never had a business. Neither has Obama. Why are we allowed, I wonder has uh, Janet Yellen never had a real job or owned a business. Why are we allowing these people who's never even had a real job to dictate and tell us what we need to be doing? They're incapable of doing this. Why would we listen to any damn thing they say? I mean, this is absurd that we listen to people who's never had a job, never ran a business. Why listen to these people? See, we, we need more people like Hemp Redmond. We need regular working men The the the. The, a working man and woman is going to know how to say better than these career politicians. <laughs> she needs to say, ain't no way. Check out her roots. <laughs> Mistake. Oh, uh, um, was that? Uh, Bat says, try milk and bread. Milk and bread is definitely higher. Meat is off the chain. And it's going to get higher because they're killing all our cattle. Inflation is largely the fall of Putin. If you want to get rid of inflation, the only way to do it is to um, re undo a lot of the Trump tax cuts. And our inflation rates are lower than other nations in the world. You know what? I'm starting to wonder, do they actually believe their lies? Now, Joe Biden may do because he's just so stupid. Chuck Schumer, this piece of trash by the name of Chuck Schumer, I know he don't believe his lies. If they really believe that spending more money made things better, wouldn't they just spend their own money like that too? Why don't they spend their own damn money and do that? They don't spend their own money. You know why? Because they know they're lying to you. They know damn well they're lying. But you can't expect anything more out of a person like Joe Biden. Because listen to this clip of Joe Biden. And Joan, Shingai, I'm going to pronounce right. Shanga Kawawa. Is that the worst clip by any president you have ever seen? How can anybody be proud after hearing that? It, 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 this is unexcusable. This is, you, you didn't understand a damn word he said. And Zhu Jang, and Zhu Jang, and, and Zhang Zhang, Kuala, Kuala, and Zhu Jang. What the, what, the, what the hell is that? This dude's supposed to be the damn president? This is the most ridiculous clip that you have ever heard by any president. Not just of this country, of any country. This is the most absurd, gibbery jabberish. I mean, I know some some three month old babies that slobbering can talk better than this. This is absurd. C Clever has a little smart grandbaby, sugar lump. Shout out to sugar lump too. <laughs> Clever has a smart little grandbaby, <laughs> and Clever was asking, was saying some about uh, how, why men can't get pregnant. I forgot the whole story, Miss. Some about why men can't get pregnant, and she says, "What did she say, Clever?" She said, "Um, because it's, it's a girl thing, it's a woman thing." I think she said. In other words, a seven-year-old know that a woman can't—I mean, a man can't become pregnant. She says, "A girl thing. Women getting pregnant is a girl thing. A man can't become pregnant." But you got these intellectuals who's teaching at colleges now. Don't know no damn better. Sugar Lump could be a better damn president than Joe Biden any damn day. Listen to this. And and Joan Shingang, I'm going to pronounce right. Shanga Kawawa. Who in the hell could possibly think that this man mind is not shot? What the hell was that? Please tell me what the hell that was. That's offensive, actually. 
It's offensive for somebody to listen to this and tell me that this man brain ain't shot. What the hell was that? I mean, I've listened to this over and over again, and this is one of the worst things he's ever said. I don't know what the hell he's even trying to say. I'm going to see. I had another one of him. I don't know if I got that one. The one he was saying, um, he made up a word when he was uh, trying to, Katunja Brown was, him and Katunja Brown and, and Kamlika was standing over there. And he just made up a word. This, but this one right here, though, Joe Biden has said a, a bunch of crazy stuff. But this right here is the worst clip ever, though, to me. And, and Joan, Shingang, I'm going to pronounce right, Shanga, Ko Koawa. You want me to believe that I can believe any damn thing this fool says about the economy? He can't even speak. You can go get a one-year-old make more sense than that. What the hell was that? I'm serious. What was that? That's offensive. Now, somebody going to tell me this fool got 81 million votes. Let's play it one more time. And and Joan, Shingang, I'm going to pronounce right, Shanga Ko Koawa. This is crazy. This, this is absolutely insane. That is one of the most bizarre, craziest clips I've ever heard in all my life. And he's got some crazy clips out there. Now, they say that Donald Trump is the problem. Okay, I'm going to show you Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump was over here at the uh, Chick-fil-A. When he comes in, he knows how to interact with people. He jumps off the plane. They, he going to court. They're trying to lock him up. He goes and meet with people. He gets off the plane. He gives a press conference right on the spot. Tells people about stuff. Goes to Chick-fil-A, feeds the people, interacts with the people, sign autographs. I'm going to play some of these clips. This is the president. This is the real president right here. Now, this he comes in right here. See, most people don't understand what he's doing right here. See, this is interaction. You lighten the mood and stuff. You chit chat. You lighten the mood. Joe Biden don't know how to do this. Matter of fact, most politicians don't know how to do this. See, most politicians got to have somebody guarding. I'm, and, and I'm not just talking about Joe Biden. I'm saying even Barack Obama looks fake when he do this. But Barack Obama, much as I don't like the bastard, he's actually better still than uh, than Joe Biden by a long ways. He's a better politician. But I got another clip of of of, of the real president at the Chick Fil A. I got another. I got another clip. Hold on, man. Let me get this other clip with him. Um, this is another one. Let me see what. I think, let me see, is this the one he walked in? Oh, this, this is the same one, but this is when he first walked in. And I love this girl got some earrings in her nose. See, only Donald Trump can joke like this. He said, I love that what you got in your nose. He said, it's beautiful. It's art. He said, I want to get 30 milkshakes. <laughs> he said, give me 30 milkshakes. And also some chicken. I'm going to take care of the customers. Notice what he said. Every time he goes to a place, he said, we're going to take care of the customers. Joe Biden is winning eight in a bunch of places. Hillary Obama. Ain't none of them ever paid for the people's food. Why is that? Every time he goes to a restaurant, he pays for everybody's food. <laughs> Okay, I, that was kind of like the same one, but I got another one though here because the other one, he's interacting with the crowd even more on this one. Let me get this other one here. Uh, let me see here. This is him interacting with the crowd a little bit more here. Now, I want you to pay attention. Some random guy just starts saying, I love you, uh, uh, Trump. I love you. You ain't never heard nobody talk like that to a politician. Hey, you see everybody. How you doing, Trump? I'm doing good. I love, I love you, man. Good. You look good. I love you. Yeah. Notice that. I love you, man. 
Now, the media won't show this because it doesn't look good because he's a racist, right? Oh, that's right, Alan. That he said some chicken too. Everybody that got chicken, everybody got milkshake. Get ready. Yeah, I give you one. You know, this is another thing I can say about. I, I think I've said this before about President Trump. Now I know it's God is div God's divine intervention just 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 saving him at this particular at this particular point. But you got to think about some here. Either either Donald Trump is the smartest politician to ever run for office. Or he must be pretty squeaky clean. Because if they had investigated George Bush, Obama, Clinton, anybody like that doing Donald Trump, they'd already, they, 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 they wouldn't even made it through the turn. They've crawled under every rock trying to get stuff on this man. It ain't none of it work. Now, either he's squeaky clean or he's a smart bastard. I'm sorry, he's just here. You got to, it's one of the two. Either he's squeaky clean or he's smart as hell. Now, I know the Lord is protecting him. But anybody else, they would have had enough dirt to try to uh, 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 bring some up on the man. But they ain't had enough dirt yet. And it's making them mad. Now, I had another one with him. This is him, again, talking with the people. The media tells you, Mr. Trump, we support you. We support you, Mike. Okay, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, hoping in, in, in Christ, he's smart. He's not a politician. He knows business, too. And this is why they hate it, because he's cutting off all their damn gravy train. China was ripping us off left and right. I mean, technically, you might as well call Joe Biden China Joe. All he's done is, is help China get richer and richer. Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell won't even go ahead and retire because he's trying to, they're trying to sabotage Donald Trump, all these rhino Republicans. Say what you want to, though. The people love that man. I don't care what nobody says. I've, I've paid attention to politics for a while. I've never seen a president, a politician, get the kind of response that man gets. Much as I don't like Barack Obama, a lot of people love him, but it was because of his skin color, not because he had done a damn thing, not because he was genuine or anything, because everything about him was fake. They genuinely love the man because he's authentic. He don't try to get out of his lane. That He stay in his lane. Even when he's dancing, he stay in that little one lane right here. He don't get fancy with it. But it's something different because say what you want to, the media, the intel community tried everything they can to destroy this man, and it didn't work. Thank you, Lord. Uh-huh. Thank you, Lord. It's, some, it's, it's something that, and this is what makes them mad because they tried to uh, – they tried to destroy the man with everything they can possibly name, but it didn't work. <laughs> None of this crap work that they was doing. This is crazy. This, 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 this <laughs> G Nizzle said, shit, damn near about a tit of my eye. <laughs> Every time Mr. Trump goes somewhere, this the man gets this kind of love. You remember when they tried to indict him in Georgia when he rolled through the hood to get to the jail to get, they can, or get a mug shot? People were standing in the street. See, this is what they underestimate now. Whites love Mr. Trump. Business people love Mr. Trump. Uh, uh, blacks love Mr. Trump. Asians, Latinas, poor people, educated, uneducated people. The media has tried. If the media weren't trying to do this right here, he'll be even loved more than, than this. If they actually reported facts, but they got to tell lies because they're of the devil. And the devil got to tell lies. He can't help himself. This man goes to Chick-fil-A, and he gets this kind of love from all kind of people. And you notice how there's a mixture of crowd of people. It's Chick-fil-A, damn it. And uh, Chick-fil-A didn't piss me off by some of the things they've been doing. But he, he goes to a place. He orders people food. People come up to him. Joe Biden goes in the place, and nobody ignoring him. Because technically, Joe Biden is saying stuff and like this. Joan, Shengang, Sh I'm going to pronounce it right. Shanga, Co Koala. It's crazy. This is crazy. Let's let's, let's, let's go back to Mr. Trump. Support your mind. Okay, it's 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real president. I don't care what nobody says. 
He would get mad. I don't care what nobody says. From the time Donald Trump came down that damn escalator, I said, that's my guy right there. Anybody know me, I said, that's my guy. I said, he's not a politician. I like the way he was talking, and he kept it real. You insult him, he insults you back. That's the real world. You don't go around and somebody insult him like that. You got to bat your mind. <laughs> Stacy Michael says, plenty of koala uh, at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> koala. That's, uh, maybe that's what he was trying to joke. That's what Joe Biden was trying to say. I don't know what the hell that nigga was trying to say. But I didn't understand nothing he said. Brittany just, I just saw you there, Brittany. Sister Brittany uh, Warnock, Warnock, Warnick, I'm sorry. Warnick is in the house. Stacy Michaels in the house. Good to see you. My man, uh, Stephen Bone. Said Lindsey Lindsey Graham never do this. Lindsey Graham he can't do it. See most of these people they don't they, they don't know how to interact with people. Before President Trump became president, the contractors who was building stuff for him say he used to come down and mingle with them then because he knows how to talk to people. These filthy politicians don't know how to talk to people. They're not good with people. I'm gonna tell you somebody else is good with people. That damn clever is good with people. Oh she is a she can. She is good. She's a people's person. She's good with people. She don't hang around a lot of people, but when she does go around people, she's a people's person. She gets along with people so easily. She be carrying a conversation with people that you would think they've been knowing each other for a while. They don't even know each other. They didn't tell her her whole life story. I said, you need to start being a counselor. They're going to get all that free advice. They get it. They'll tell her everything. <laughs> Clever is a people's person. She really is. As far as talking, she's better at talking to people. Now, I'm better at running my mouth, but when it comes to like interchanging back and forth with people, she's she's better at that by far. She's good at talking to people. She knows how to talk to people, make people feel they people feel so comfortable. They didn't tell her whole life story. I said, wait a minute, you just met, you just met. Y'all was just talking at the damn car dealer. Next thing you know. The man and told her all this. Like his wife just died of me. All the whole story. They feel so comfortable. Just you need to start charging these people. <laughs> you need to start charging these people. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sergeant King's a clever Louisiana, uh, Louisiana girl. No, no, Sergeant King. That's a Texan. That's born and raised. Now her mom is from Louisiana. But she born and raised Texas. Ooh, that Texas. That's, a, that's why me and her get along so well. She born and raised in Texas. Uh, <laughs> Lee Rose says, Fanny okay. <laughs> Island that is a clever, my sister in Christ. Homer says, I voted blue up and down the ballot. <laughs> well, in what state are you in, Homer? You vote you voted blue up and down the ballot. <laughs> yeah, I think I, 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 don't, I don't think Homer is welcome in here then if he voted blue all up and down the ballot. <laughs> uh let's see here. Okay, uh <laughs> Who's a T-bone? T-bone says, "Hey, doctor, if a quarter of black folks had your mentality, America would be thriving like a mofo." <laughs> we, yeah, we we got to wake some of them up, T-bone. We got to wake some of them up because they they too damn sleep. I'm telling you, I'm telling. You, I be getting mad at myself. I get pissed off at them. Brad Armstrong said, "People said orange man bad," so uh, I listened to him and made up my own mind. Exactly. I always say, make your own mind up. Donald Trump is not Jesus. Don't get me wrong about that. But I'm saying, as politicians that I've seen in my lifetime, it ain't even close. Not even Reagan. It's not even close. Felicia uh, uh, says, Lindsey Graham is a arrogant closet homo. I agree. I concur. Uh, Southern Bell by the name of Lindsey Graham. He's a Southern Bell. <laughs> um, what is Clever saying? <laughs> Somebody, I, okay. Richard Owens just checked in. What's going on there, Richard Owens? Good to see you, brother. J-A-R-R -R said, I'm voting for Trump 2024 just because of the 
banana republic bullshit going on against him. That's exactly what it is. It is a banana republic. <laughs> Jacqueline Russell, good to see you, Jacqueline, says, this visit by Trump will not be covered by the lying main scheme media. Oh, it, they won't cover this because they don't want to see this kind of stuff. All they do is lie, 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 lie. <laughs> a day conference that they all will look great in a sale. April said Homer may need some help. Yeah, we had to check Homer out. Maybe he's trying to be Homer from The Simpsons or something. RC in the house. I, okay, RC, good to see you there. <laughs> the con job continues. Island Natty. You was, you was late today, Island, Island Natty. Yeah, clever says she said I'm a Gemini. Yeah, she's a Gemini. G Nezzle says we we from when black folk wouldn't even think about wearing dungerets. Everybody had suits and hats. <laughs> See, he's right about that. If you go look back, think about go look look at the civil rights movement. Was was anybody walking around there with their pants hanging down, looking like some kind of a uh, criminal or something? You never seen that. I don't care if it was the Nation of Islam or or the uh, uh, Dr. King and that group. Nobody was dressed. They went out. They put on their Sunday best when they went out. They was dressed to a T. You see these people in the store. I was in the store today. I I mean, it's just outrageous how people come outside. Can I go there for a minute, please? When you go in some of these stores, the way people come outside. It just blows my mind that you didn't look in the mirror. You should have saw that you shouldn't dress like this. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about a couple of them that I saw today, just today. There was a man in there. He looked like he may have been mid-30s, maybe even 40. All of his underwear was showing again. He had some flip-flops. His hair wasn't combed. I mean, he just looked, he looked a hot mess, but he had it in public like it's no big deal. He was getting some swishes or something because he wanted to get his smoke on. And I also saw this woman in there, and I'm not trying to make fun of her because she was large, which she was. I mean, she had, I think she was around about, I don't know, 375 or four bills. She had a mini skirt on. And not the kind of like traditional mini skirt. It looked like something like would be like your house coat, something you wear in the house only. But it was short and she was outside. Her calf was bigger than my thigh. And she had no shame. And she had a tattoo. Now, I think it was a tattoo because she was darker than me, and I couldn't tell if it was a cat tattoo or dirt. I don't know which one it was, if it was a tattoo or dirt. But her legs was like, like this covering the tattoo. And I said, like, she actually came outside like that. And she's proud of it, too. No shame whatsoever. We, we got to have start having some kind of shame. I'm sorry, just some ways you shouldn't come outside looking. I'm just it not I'm not saying you have to dress up when you come outside, but there's some things, some ways you should not come outside looking certain ways. You just shouldn't. But they do, and they're proud of it. They have no shame whatsoever. Just walk around any kind of damn way. But I think this, see, and this this is what like I heard some people say about church like come as you are to church yeah that means if you can't do no better i'm sorry I don't, that don't mean everybody like that and all this this so-called tolerance has went too far and the reason we have a lot of the stuff with the funny willis the uh uh the cases all these fraudulent cases against donald trump all these criminals being let out of jail the reason we have a lot of these cases is because we've tolerated it so long and as long as you tolerate this stuff it, it's going to get worse. And the reason that I like that Mr. Trump, I like Mr. Trump is that when he came out, he came out with guns blazing. I mean, he came out talking about everybody. He said, you insult me, I insult you back. And you got to ask yourself, all these pro-Hamas, because it's not pro-Palestinian marches that they're doing. All these pro-Hamas marches that we're allowing over here, they're chanting death to America. But if you say something against Joe Biden or Barack Obama, the Secret Service or, or the FBI may come visit you. 
We cannot sustain what's going on in America. If this keeps up, there ain't going to be no liberty. Now, I got a question for you. Because Donald Trump can only be in office if he wins one more term, four years. Who do you expect that's going to take over for Mr. Trump? Who do you expect could be the next candidate? Because none of these rhinos, I'm never supporting any of them. I don't give a damn if the Democrats win. I will never support these rhinos who tried to sabotage Donald Trump. Nikki Haley, I would never support her. Never. In a million years. Lindsey Graham, no way. So unless it's somebody like a Ken Paxson or Mike Liddell run, I'm not supporting any rhino Republicans. I'm not going for that less of two evils again. Never again. Too many of them have been exposed. And when Donald Trump was here, if the Republicans have really worked with him, we'll have a border, a, a border wall right now. He'd still be the president from the go out of office handing off the torch to somebody else right now. But all these Republicans jabbing like Mitt Romney. I don't wish no good on Mitt Romney. I can't tell you what I really wish on him. Now, Clever tells me to stop saying this. Matter of fact, uh, I'm wishing some bad things. Some bad things going to happen. Uh, and, and, and when bad things happen, we, I'm going to sing a song. Matter of fact, uh, Clever's going to sing this song with me. I'm a, not matter of fact, I'm going to let Clever sing the song. Now, uh, Clever, you're going to sing the song. Yeah, Clever. I want Clever to come in and sing this song. Let me see here. Where you at, Clever? <laughs> I want Clever to sing this song. Because this is a song, because she sounds better singing than me. She tried to get me to sing it with her, but uh-uh. Um, I was singing it today. Matter of fact, we were singing it today. Me and Clever were singing this today. Come on in, Clever. You know, you're trying to hide. Come on in. It, you remember that? Uh, uh, Y'all probably used to sing this in church. Because whenever somebody, we got a couple of songs we're going to sing when something bad happens to some of these Joe Biden, or I don't care if it's P. Diddy, I don't care if it's T.D. Jakes. That's why I always sing in Joy. Joy, I always sing stuff like uh, Lord, do it right now. But me and Clever today, me and Clever was singing, um, I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. And the reason we were singing that is because I said some bad's gonna happen. She tells me, uh, don't even try it, uh, Clever. Tell me she fell asleep. <clears throat> I love to praise. Matter of fact, if anybody else want to check in to give your two cents on what's going on in this country or how we can fix it, and make sure y'all give my man uh, Hemp Redmond some love there. Uh, who is that mass shooting in Philadelphia? Ramadan event. Okay, then. Uh, they just gave the CFO, Alan Weisenberg, I think, they gave him five months in Rikers for lying on the oath. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. The uh, CF, the CFO of the Trump Organization, Alan Weisenberg, he lied to them, they says, and they gave him five months in Rikers Island. Funny Willis and Nathan Wade both lied on the oath. James Comey lied. Uh, Andrew McCabe lied, Hillary Clinton lied, Joe Biden lied. Nothing's happened to them because the Republicans are weak. They're too damn weak. And if, if you allow that weakness to come and get you and, 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 and you let it uh, permeate through your mind, this is what you're going to get. They lock him up. He's a CFO. He getting in Rikers Island. Funny Willis is allowed to stay on the case. But but think about it, and also you remember um what's his name um oh Julian Assange, Julian Assange is still in jail right now. Joe Biden and and, and Hunter Biden and all these people because Hunter Biden's laptop had classified documents on it too. All the information that Joe Biden has shared and 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 took bribes from foreign countries, all the information that. Matter of fact, Julian Assange only gave them, uh, 
uh, published the information that the transgender that Barack Obama pardoned, all he did was share the information that he gave, but the information was true. Just like Edward Snowden, all it proved was is that your government was spying on you and doing all kind of corrupt things. This is the only thing it proves. But, but what about Julian Assange? Why is Julian Assange still locked up? That's the thing you need to ask yourself. Why is he still locked up? You think what Julian Assange did was worse than what Joe Biden did? Was worse than what uh, Marius did? Hillary Clinton did? Bill Clinton did? No, it wasn't worse. But it doesn't matter because the difference is, is that we don't have anybody on our side that's willing to fight. All we do is, all they do is come out, and if you start fighting too much, they'll criticize you and tell you, you need to shut up because you're acting like a right winger. These MAGA Republicans, these MAGA Republicans. I know what we're going to do. We're going to let a philosopher t tell you what's going on. Remember this philosopher? I played her clip the other day. Apartments, doctors' apartment, jobs that I have lost due to the buses. And they said this year was supposed to be a totally You see how she adjusts them glass? That girl's smart. Different change. I don't see what a change is at. We have to sit. I don't see what a change is at either, sister. Get out here and wait a long periodically time. The buses are nasty. The buses are filthy. The buses is not new. Oh, I don't know that clip right that just cracks me up, man. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but it show is funny. <laughs> it show is funny. I'm not lying, man. Uh, but why don't our people, why don't our representatives, why don't they fight for us like the Democrats people fight for them? I mean, you look at the stuff that they're doing, and you got this, like, like this, this old Trump lawyer, right? See this clown right here? Remember this snitch right here? Thing is so stupid. And when you have somebody like a Laura Loomer. This dude is such a clown now. I mean, he, he really thinks he's a mobster or something like this. You're a buffoon. You got caught lying on the oath. This dude hates Trump so much. It's ridiculous. You're a clown. Nobody would even hire you. He gave you an opportunity. That's why you can't hire these bums. When you have somebody like that who has... Yeah, Peter just brought up an interesting point. I said the same thing the other day, Peter. Michael Cohen, I think him and Stormy Daniels was the ones cheating. And I think he actually got that money and pretended like it was Donald Trump who was trying to pay uh, Stormy Daniels off. It was he's the one who was paying. He's an idiot. A significant size microphone or megaphone. It's kind of incumbent upon people who have that, we'll call it volume of followers, to do at least, at least a monicum of homework before they decide to go think that they're protecting their Fuhrer. First and foremost, Donald doesn't need your protection, right? You're kind of inconsequential. You know, this dude is really, but they just, just, just think about how, how far this dude has fallen from grace. He's a buffoon now. Now, now CNN and Miss MBC invites him on. He called Donald Trump the fuel. <laughs> but see, this is how incredible these people are. Look what Joe Biden has done for the January the 6th people, well, his administration, because he didn't do it. Look what the DOJ and the FBI has tried to do to Donald Trump. But they call him Donald Trump the fuel. This dude's a clown. He's a, he's a certified clown. I got to get him on my screen now. I can't take him no more. Let, let's play Joe Biden again. And Joan, Shengang, I'm going to pronounce it right. Shanga Ko, Koawa. That, that's about the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. What in the hell is Joe talking about? That is the most incoherent statement i've ever heard <laughs> uh let me see what they say whoopi goldberg republicans want to bring slavery back what whoopi goldberg said the republicans want to bring slavery back wait a minute let's 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 share this see what whoopi goldberg is saying here republicans want to bring slavery back you don't say 
And this this smart Whoopi Goldberg, it's got to be true if Whoopi Goldberg is here. So I mean, let, let's play. We're going to play the, the view because he, he only got some brilliant people. I'm going to share this, share this link right here with you so you can look in here with me. Uh... All right, this is Whoopi now. Let's see what she got to say. So when you heard it, yeah. what was your response? I said, thank you for the gift to the Democrats in the next election, even though I worry about the women. And, you know, it's like, uh, first of all, you know, the Republican Party seems to want us to take us back to 1964, not 1864, yeah. when this particular law was made, mm -hmm. way before women had the right to way vote. Way before it was even a state. It wasn't, Arizona even, a wasn't state. even a state yet. Yeah. But they seem to be flip-flopping around because they know it's a losing issue. So that Kate, what's her name? Lake, Lake, Mary Lake. Mary, Mary Lake. Lake. She's like she, on one side, then she's on another side. The same with Donald Trump. They don't Mary know. Mary Lake, who is running. They, they got some nerve to say somebody is, is flip-flopping. These Kathleen Hines. Or the U.S. Senate yes. against Ruben Gallego. Yeah. And Carrie Lake was actually for this before she was against it. Now, right. uh, so people She's are against it now because right. they see the writing on the wall. They understand that women are going to be motivated it's, it's to, a, to vote. It's against a bad the, issue for, yeah. for, for. But think about it. What, what they're really talking about is abortion on demand at nine months. That's the part that Republicans don't even know how to actually keep saying. Democrats want abortion up to nine months. Matter of fact, they don't mind if the child is born to kill it. Now, what, what President Trump said is that you can say that he should be more strict on that. I don't think it should be a federal is issue either. Let the states decide it. Live in a conservative state and you don't have to worry about this. But if you live in a liberal state, hey, that's one of the things. They're going to have to answer for God for that. But this is the thing. You can take a tough stand on it. I think life begins at conception. I firmly do. And the reason you know that right there is because the way they, everything they do proves this point right here. But they, they're acting as if this is life and death. They're punching people. Have you ever thought about like taking some so you want to have so many damn abortions? One woman was bragging about it. She had nine abortions. What is that to brag about? How about use some protection so you won't have to keep having abortions? But this is like a cult issue to these damn people. But I'm going to keep on. The, the Republican Party. Let me say this. Uh, we could see this coming. Right. I mean, you talked about it, Whoopi. Mm -hmm. uh, if you read the Dobbs decision, and I, I, I think everyone should. Tell them what it was. Uh, the Dobbs decision just came down overturning um, uh, Roe v. Wade. Mm -hmm. and she needs to pay reparations because her ancestors owned slaves. She's already found out about that. We need to, we need to get us some money out of her. And president, well, was supposed to be super president. Uh, Justice Samuel Alito is the person that wrote for the majority, mm -hmm. and he said. Roe's failure even to note the overwhelming consensus of state laws in effect in 1868 is striking. So oh. be very clear. He wrote a roadmap mm -hmm. for the states so that they could look in their books and go back to the... But if you guys stay in New York, what y'all worried about? Because it? it's never going to change in New York. 1860s, even before Arizona was founded, which yeah. was 1912, mm -hmm. and gave them the game book. And he was appointed by Donald Trump. Yes, he was. These people are so stupid, it makes my head hurt. The credit for overthrowing Roe v. Wade. Oh, just go ahead. Wait, 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 go ahead. Well, you know a law is crazy when even Carrie Lake thinks that it's too extreme. So yeah. she's coming out now because she realizes it does hurt Republicans running in the right. state, and I would say nationwide. What I'm most struck by is I'm constantly hearing from Republican girlfriends who are horrified by what we're seeing in Texas, what we're seeing in Arizona, South Dakota, some of these. Move your ass out of Texas then, damn it. Don't come to Texas then. Go somewhere else. See, that's why they don't go with a lot of these squatting laws and stuff right here. You notice in Texas, what had happened to a couple of people when they was robbing this place, when they got ready to leave out, the fella pulled out his gun because most Texans are strapped and you will get shot. And so just with the same thing with these laws. If you don't like these laws, go to another. I hate when liberals come to Texas and try to change our laws. Take your ass back where you came from. Don't come here with that. Uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to ship Sheila Jackson Lee out the damn country because she thinks that the damn moon I mean, technically speaking, she thinks the moon is full of gas. How dumb she is. The most extreme bans on abortion. Even Ronald Reagan always believed in exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. This doesn't even have an exception for rape. That's not even on the table. So why y'all talk about that? They consider this as slavery. They're literally saying they consider this as slavery because, I mean, you, you can't rationalize with these people. You can't have a rational conversation with certain people. There is no way to rationalize with these people. 
Because talking to these people is like talking to a damn brick wall or something. It just is. Matter of fact, I want to get that Sheila Jackson Lee. Hold on. See if I can get that Sheila Jackson Lee. Do I still have that clip of Sheila Jackson Lee in there? Um, Because she was educating the people. (laughs) She was educating the people. Sheila must I die, Jackson. Um, (laughs) Remember those hippies? Let's put these hippies back up there. Wait a minute. You have to get out and register to vote. And you have to vote, vote. for Biden Harris. Because that other guy, the orange man, the orange man, like this, he is going to take away your social security. You can't make this up. This is so cringe worthy. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's something. Sometimes these people don't even realize how stupid they look. They just don't. They don't even realize how embarrassing they look because some of them are so stupid that they don't realize that they are stupid. <laughs> They're so stupid that they don't realize they are stupid. That's the sad part with these people. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm going to see if I can find that. Did I erase that Sheila Jackson Lee? I think I, damn it. Thought I had kept a copy of that damn thing. Oh, oh I, I got another clip I want you to see, though. Now, this clip right here is, is very, very strange. I think this is New York. There was a guy who was, he saw a homeless guy. He was cold, I guess. And he stopped and gave the guy his coat. The guy, after he gave him his coat, got up, robbed him, took, took tried to take it, took his wallet, beat him up. For trying to help, and you can't even help these damn people now. Speaking of that, I'm gonna tell a story. I'll let you see this clip right here. I'm gonna tell the story of um, what happened to me today. Where's that damn clip at? Um, damn it, what did I do with it? I just had it. Yeah, here it is right here. He get his guy, he get his guys. He gives the guy his jacket right there. Now watch what the guy does to show his appreciation. Then this. Robbed him for trying to uh, 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 help him out. Don't help these bows. Did you see that? He helped the man, and the man robbed him. You can't make this up. And by the way, somebody brought up John Featherman. John Featherman is actually, um, I know that John Featherman is actually, he's smarter than most of the Democrats now. I never thought I would say this. But John Featherman now is smarter than most of the Democrats because I heard him the other day. He's against giving, he's called uh, uh, the Palestinian, quote, warriors, the Hamas terrorists. They tried to intimidate him. He says, no. He said, I'm not woke. I couldn't believe this was John Featherman. I said, what you say? I never thought I'd see a day where John Featherman seems more rational than the, than the people who's supposed to be rational. You can't make this up, man. Stephen Douglas just gave us $2 on our cash app. I appreciate you, there, Stephen uh, Douglas. Now, think about it. John Featherman is more conservative now than these people. I was I was at the, um, I told, I told, Clever, clever knew about this. I was at a, I went to the store today. I was over in a, it was close to Harlem Clark. I can't remember what street it was across the street. It, it was in Harlem Clark, but I can't remember the um, the exact address. So I'm sitting in my vehicle, and um, I noticed this guy was going from. He was kind of. He had a backpack on. He looked like he he was no older than about. He may have been late twenties, early thirties, but he wasn't too old. He was, and he was, he was, it was obvious he wasn't in, he could have worked and could have got a job, but I watched him. He, and, and when, you know, I, I, what I hate is an aggressive panhandler. I don't like aggressive panhandlers. So I noticed he went to one car, but he walked in real fast with a backpack on. I almost thought it was a jack move. 
He said something. He walked in. He was walking from car to car, and then he got ready to come to me. I was actually on the phone, so I waved him off. Matter of fact, I was talking to Club. I said, wait a minute. I got to go. Because this dude coming up aggressive to me on my phone, uh, walking up to me. And so I asked him what he wanted. Guess what he told me? He asked me, could I give him a ride? And I said to myself, nigga, is you crazy? You think I'm going to put you in my car? Ask your mammy for a ride. He said, can you give me a ride? Can I give you a ride? Nigga, do I look like the Uber? And then he went to, and I asked the other guy, I went and asked the other guy, I said, what did he ask you? He said, he wanted me to give him a ride. He thought I was going to put him in my car. Then I went in the store, I said, why is this dude in the, in the parking lot, y'all parking lot, begging, harassing people like that? And that person who works in the store says he lost all his money on one of those slot machines. Because you know they got these illegal slot machines in these convenience stores. They say they don't actually give money out, but they're lying. They actually give money. And they got in some of these convenience stores in the hood, they got secret doors that you can go back there and gamble. I don't care if they gamble. I think they should make it legal. If you want to waste your money, it's fine with me. You're a grown-up. But at the same time, what got me, though, is that you go spend all your money and you lost all your money. Now you see telling people it was some uh, it was some Mexican guys who was cutting lawn, or they had like all you know, they have all those weed eaters and lawn mowers on the back of their truck. He walked with them aggressive, asking them for a ride. They said no. Now, why, why, why is you thinking somebody gonna put you in the car with them? I told Club, I says, not only would I would not put this damn nigga in the car with me, I wouldn't even if a five-year-old was hitchhiking, I'm not picking up a five-year-old. I called the law and wait till they get there. For the fire, yo, but I'm not putting you in my car because the fire, yo, it, it's got to be some kind of scam going on if a fire, yo, out here begging like this. What, where's your parents at? 911. We got a minor out here, five years old, say he don't know where his parents are. We need to get y'all out here, get get the uh, CPS out here or something. But I'm not allowing any damn body to get in my car. One time I was over here in, um, what was I at? Pasadena, Texas. I was in Pasadena. And there was an illegal, I got the video, matter of fact, I haven't even uploaded the video. This is like two months ago, maybe. I said I was going to upload it, but I never uploaded it. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start uploading the videos they won't let me upload here on YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to upload them on the website. So if you actually subscribe, I'm going to start uploading all those videos there. All the ones that they, they tell me. I, love, I put one on there the other day that I couldn't put on. It was somebody getting shot. They tried to rob a place and they got shot. It was a good, good thing. I thought it was a wonderful thing too, but they got shot. But this, this, this is the things that's going on. They got all these panhandlers. Now I can look at somebody and tell if they're mentally disturbed. This guy wasn't mentally disturbed, but he didn't want to work. There is too many lazy people out there saying that you, 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 uh, uh, can you give me something? Can you help me out when they, they're able? Now, some of them look like they got some mental issues. Some of them look like they're homeless. I get that. <laughs> G Nizzle said, you, you're going to jail if you give a five-year-old a ride. <laughs> Brittany said, there's too many scams and people trying to rip people off. That's what I'm saying. You don't know what kind of scam is being ran here. I, I don't I don't get that. Um, But that was this... Uh, this about two months ago, I was in Pasadena, Texas. There was this illegal. The reason I know he's illegal is he didn't speak no English. But he had his phone. He he got his phone like this. He told me. He told me to read the message because he had typed somebody. I guess he translated it in English and he showed it to me. And I read it and says, "Would you please help me? I'm I'm hungry. I'm looking for for some help. Uh, I need some help." But he was fat, and I said to myself, "You can afford to miss a couple of meals anyway." So he came in this country illegal. He doesn't speak any English. On his phone, he want me to give him some money. Now, I help homeless people all the time. Clever can tell you, I help homeless people all the time, but not healthy homeless people. If you're homeless or if I can tell you mentally disturbed or if you just look like a wino, I may give you some. But like healthy acting people acting all aggressive, I don't like aggressive panhandlers in the first place. It's a good way to get shot, actually. Being an aggressive panhandler is a good way to get shot. But these people, we, we've, we've got, matter of fact, there's a story I wanted to talk about <laughs> that I did mention. Uh, they say that, I'm going to look the story up, matter of fact, because I heard it. I was riding, I heard it on the radio, but I'm going to look it up. They said that um, spam 
is selling better than ever under Joe Biden's administration. Now, some of you may like spam anyway. I used to eat spam when I grew up. I don't eat it no more. I just don't like it. It's too salty and everything else. If I got hungry enough, of course I would eat it. Now, when I ate spam, though, it ain't but one way I really ate my spam when I did eat spam. Fried in the pan, flip it over, fry it on the other side, put some cheese on it, give me some light bread. That's right, light bread. Put me some mustard on that light bread. And that's how I used to eat a spam sandwich. I haven't ate spam in a long time. But they say there's an uptick on spam and Vienna sausages because everybody's so damn broke now that Joe Biden's administration is destroying the economy so much that people are related, are going back to eating spam. I guess you could buy some stock in spam or something. But they said that the, the sales for spam, I'm going to look that up because I heard it on the radio when I was riding. Spam sales. Let's see if that, that'll pop up. Sales of the canned cooked meat spam have hit a record high. Yep. For the seventh year in a row. Oh, it's been going high. It's been going up, up, up. The company that makes the iconic brand delivered record sales, $3.5 billion in three months to the end of October. Damn. Spam is off the chart, they say. It, they, they say canned meat is up because Joe Biden's administration has destroyed the economy so much, people are going back to buying Vienna sausages. I never like Vienna sausages, is number one. No offense, and I know this is going to sound kind of gross, but those look like little penises to me, and I don't eat that. I don't eat Vienna sausages. I just don't. Never have. I never ate them before. No. Looks disgusting. And they, they put it in there like that slimy like sauce, whatever that is, that slimy stuff. They put that in there. You get the little things out there like that. Same size as Joe Biden. Just saying. <laughs> but, but those, um, they said spam meat is up. The sales of spam meat is up. I thought that was a strange story, but it is. It's 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 up. What what Joe Biden has done to this economy is a damn shame. <laughs> what he's done to this country, people like me and people like you, if I can just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Um I I don't eat spam. I'm just I mean I, I don't eat, I, I used to eat spam, but I've never eat beyond the sausages. I don't know. They look like baby penises to me. I'm sorry, and I don't eat anything that look like a penis. I'm just, I'm just I mean I got pet peeves like that. I'm saying I just got things I never ate that I don't eat, and I got my little quirks and stuff like that. Clever laugh at me sometimes. Stuff she eat. now, some things she eat, I don't eat. Some things she eat, I don't. I, th no, some things I eat she don't eat. Some things she eats I don't eat. But I never like Vienna sausages. I just don't eat that. I don't know why they call them sausages. It's wieners. If they Vienna sausages or Vienna wieners, we used to call them Vienna sausages. But they look more like wieners. Uh, but I don't know. It's some. It's something that creeps me out about those damn Vienna sauces. They just give me the creeps. I ain't like. They always give give me the creeps. And it's certain thing I don't eat. Like, um, for instance, uh, like now I don't eat spam. Now I used to eat spam. I can, it's too damn salty too. And I don't know what it is. What kind of meat is that anyway? Is that like pork and mixed with something else? Like, I don't know what it is. But, I mean, I'm not saying I'm opposed to it. Because if I get hungry enough, I eat some Spam. I used to eat Spam. Um, I, I like to cook, man. Not like something. Because some people like to burn their Spam. Like, some people burn their bologna. If they eat bologna, they'll burn it. We'll burn the hell out of bologna. I don't want my burnt. I would want to cook if I, if I ate some. And I like mustard on there, too, now. Let's get to this thing about hot dogs. <clears throat> because I was talking to Clever, and she said sometimes she put mustards and mayo on her hot dog. I said that is blasphemy. Now, I know some of y'all going to say that you agree with it, but I just don't. I think it's a sin to put may mayonnaise on a hot dog. It's a sin. No, no. I think the Lord should have put that in the commandments. Putting mayo on a hot dog is a sin. It is a sin. I th matter of fact, I think it may be the important was seeing to put mayo on, on a hot dog. Mustard. Now, I can go with chili, mustard, and onions. Plenty of onions on my hot dog if I eat one. There's going to be plenty of onions on there. And I like chili and I like mustard. I like a lot of mustard, too. I love mustard. On hamburgers, hot dogs, mustard, mustard, mustard. Now, if I'm going to eat a ham sandwich, I put mayo on a ham sandwich. 
But mayo does not go on a hot dog. Don't you ever tell me that. And it doesn't go on a damn hamburger either, but you can do a hamburger. One of my one of my kids like mayo on their hamburgers. I think I just threw up in my own mouth. Because I don't think that should that should ever happen. <laughs> I don't think that should ever happen. Uh <laughs> I'm serious. Uh <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline said, we're going back to the depression of the uh, the era of the 1930s. I'm telling you, uh, the old bags in mountain archers don't even go there. I know what they are now. Bat says, lentils are good. Yeah, spam is processed meat. I, I don't really do the processed meat no more. When I, 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 now I know how bad it is for you. <laughs> when we was growing up, though, my mom used to buy it. We used to eat it. Cause we weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth. <laughs> uh, hope in Christ, a hunter smoking spam. <laughs> uh, I would be surprised. One D O O D says, "Beware of spam." Yeah, Catherine Barker says spam is too salty. It's very salty. They got a, the, the salty contents in there is crazy. Uh, but I'm, I, I, and, I, and, and, and I don't eat Vienna salt. I'm just never. I never ate them. As a boy, I didn't like them. I thought they was creepy as a boy. Shark bait said beans in the can. Oh, you know, beans in the can it, it ain't bad. <laughs> Joe Biden's, uh, Joe Biden's uh, economy is so bad that you can't even win the shop. <laughs> That's what Lee says. When the shopping is closed, uh, hard place says spam is survival food. That's true because it lasts. It lasts a long time. I think you got a shelf life of what, like, like twenty years. Spam does. <laughs> I'm saying you got a shelf life of like twenty years. I'm saying. Uh, Clever's asking me to sing. Now you know what, babe. I'm so hungry I can't even sing right now. But I, I will sing a song. Because me and Clever was practicing this song today. After he listened to Joe Biden make a fool of himself, and when he tripped down that, remember when Joe Biden fell on the bicycle and then fell going up Air Force One? I wanted to sing that song. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love and when 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 Paul Pelosi got hit in the head with a hammer, I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I, I, I like to sing. Um, <laughs> clever, you are just too bad. You know that you just too bad. <laughs> that girl is something else. Well, you know I got guy because you know. If I don't eat before I go on, I get real hungry. Talk about this spam and stuff. It's got me kind of hungry. I'm, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give me a quesadilla though. I'm not finna, uh, I'm not eating spam. I'm getting the quesadilla. Uh, <laughs> but let's say a prayer before we get out of here, though. Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for watching over and protecting us. We ask you to watch over those in the common sense nation. We pray for President Donald Trump. Lord, give him the victory and help him get out of all these fraudulent cases that they brought against him. We pray and cover him in prayer. We pray for all those in the common sense nation. We pray for those who are asleep with facts and truth that they, they eyes will be open. We ask these and other blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and hallelujah. God bless you. Stay strong out there and don't let them get you down.